that uh, uh, radical apartheid uh, segregation where it really counts, namely control of land, subsoil, meaning water and airspace, uh, is uh, veiled effectively by the fact that it's not committed directly by the government, but through charters uh, arrangements with the Zionist organization constitutionally dedicated for Jews only. Jewish family, kids are playing together, where is the apartheid? But I doubt that the representative of the Jewish National Fund would take the group about 500 meters into the park and show them the ruins of the locality, Arab locality, the inhabitants of which have been reduced to the status of stateless refugees in Ramallah, in Amman and beyond. So uh, the aspect of non-segregation actually veils a crime against humanity. Now I take you to Canada Park uh, because of its proximity to Jerusalem and possibly because with Canada Park the Jewish National Fund made a, a serious mistake. Amwas, Yalu and Bitnuba are uh, situated inside the post-67 occupied territories, inside the West Bank. And it is uh, what, what happened there, the ethnic cleansing, the removal of the population, and the leveling down of the, almost all of the villages without a trace. There are some traces. The cemetery, you see the cemetery and you'll see one or two structures. Uh, is illegal under international law, but it also runs counter to official Canadian government policy. Uh, it's Canada Park because the uh, development was funded by the Canada Department of the Jewish National Fund and by Canadian families and donors to the Jewish National Fund of Canada. You will see all the plaques, you will see the original, the, 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 the official designation. So it runs counter to government policy as well as counter to international law. And in a way, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, that is not the argument. We have to be plenty. Did the Canadian JNF sponsor or implement ethnic cleansing? No, the Canadian, the J Canadian JNF did not implement the ethnic cleansing. The ethnic cleansing was perpetrated by the Israeli army. But the argument, the legal argument and the moral argument is that the Canadian JNF is complicit with the ethnic cleansing.